a PA hum or hiss, even when nobody's using it. When we finish setting this up, you won't be able to hear that the PA is on. But it'll be nice and loud and do the job for us. So the first thing I do, I'm going to have to use the other mic now, is we're going to start using, we're going to set up this sound system. I would talk into this microphone, and I'd look down the list, down the channel strip, there's a button at the bottom of the strip called PFL, pre-fader listen. Us sound people don't like to put the whole word there. I don't know why, but we like lots of acronyms. PFL means pre-fader listen. If you have a headphone plugged into your unit, and you hit PFL, you'll see the signal coming up on those meters. This is handy for us to set this level. On a Yamaha mixer and on a Mackie mixers, zero is in the middle of the meter. It's not the full amount, it's in the middle. So if you want to work as close to zero or nominal as you possibly can. So to test this microphone, I would give it to my talent. It wouldn't be me, because I'm the sound person. But I'd give it to my talent, and I'd say, she, she or he would be like, check one, two, check one, one, two, check one, two, and I'd set this. The further I turn it up, the more gain or volume I'm getting in the system. So I'm getting up near that zero mark. You can see it here, right? You guys see it on the meters? I, now, that's how hard it is to set the gain on every channel. That's it. Now I un-PFL it, I turn it off, so it's not there anymore. Because it now it's going to do the stereo out when we get to that. So that's all you have to do to set the gain on this, on this microphone <coughs> for, this, for the start. Now let me tell you a little secret. Musicians won't sing at the full level that they tell you they will until the show starts. Until so there's people in the room and there's a crowd and they get excited. So when you're setting your sound system, figure for that. Know that he or she isn't going to sing as loud as they would. And the keyboard player, there's one of them in here, I've got to be careful, he'll throw something at me. They never set their volume all the way up. They always leave it like three quarters. Because that way they can turn it up a little bit more. Make sure you leave yourself a little room. So again, we go back to this mic. You'll notice I'm not up near zero. I can make it go way up there, see? That's too high. See the yellow lights? That's above zero on the Yamaha and on the, the Mackies as well. So I'm just going to take it below that. But you'll notice I'm down below zero. That's where you want to be because you're going to want to adjust for when they get excited, when they get excited and they have the crowds there. The next thing in a sound system is after this level is up near zero, up near nominal in the mixer, you still can't barely hear it. You could hear it through a pair of headphones, but just barely. So now it's time to make it louder. And it, most of you have seen the standard old power amp. This is what makes the signal coming out of your mixer louder so that it'll be amplified enough to where it'll come out of a speaker. Sometimes, sometimes, like in these speakers, the amp is built in them. They actually stick the amp inside there. Or, in the case of a Yamaha, like a powered mixer, this guy actually has the amps built in him. So you don't have to buy this extra box or run this extra piece of wire that I'm doing right now. But I want you to see all the parts so it makes it easy to put it together later and understand. Again, we haven't made a single sound out of our sound system, but we know when we finish this, we're going to have it set to the right levels. So we come out of our mixer. We turn this, these knobs on the front of the amp. We start with all the way down. We don't leave these turned up. People think that I bought a thousand watt power amp. How come, um, why wouldn't you turn these knobs all the way up so you can get that whole thousand watts? These aren't volume control, folks. I'll show you how they work. We can get plenty of level out of this amp without ever turning these up near where full. So on our mixer, the next place we go, I'm gonna go back to this other microphone. So all I'm going to do 
is turn the channel that this is connected to on and send it to stereo and then raise up stereo. There we go. So you'll notice it's only on one side. It's not on both sides. This red knob that's on here is a pan control. If you want to do both channels, you pan it left or right. A lot of you guys all know about how to left and right. Let me give you a word of caution. Don't use your pan controls too much. It wouldn't be fair to these guys if they could only hear cymbals coming out of that speaker over there. In a room this size, you really don't want to be in full stereo. You want everybody to hear everything. So you could do it a little. Lots of guys do it for an effect. They'll have stuff swoop across the stage or whatever, maybe during a play or something like that. But you generally wouldn't leave it much more than full left, you know, in mono, left and right. Okay, so you'll see that we're sending it out of the mixer and the, light, the lights are up near zero. So we know we're using the full amount of the mixer. Let me explain that to you. I told you that the signal coming out of that microphone is really, really small, right? Inside the mixer, the electronics that are in a mixer all hiss and hum. All of you have heard what a sound system sounds like that's not wired up right. We want to work above that noise as far as we can. We want that noise so quiet that you won't hear it. That's why we're bothering to set our gains or levels in our, our uh, mixer before we ever go to the amplifier. Now, once this is set, and we're pretty happy with that level there, then it's just a matter of coming to our amplifier and turn it up to the level that we like, to the level we need it to be. So now it's just this speaker that's right here. So this sound system is different than the one I've been talking to you on. It's only this mixer, only this amplifier, and only this speaker. But this is loud enough for you guys, and my attenuator is not anywhere near full. And I can get plenty more gain right here by just turning this up even louder. Anybody want to hear feedback now? No thanks. No, no thanks. Yeah, I gave it the office. Yeah. At any rate, this is, um, this is all it takes to set your sound system up properly. So if you had a wireless, I mean, excuse me, a powered speaker like the ones that are over here, that we're using here, this amplifier, this attenuator, would be on the back of that speaker. We'd go over there and turn it down. Now I want you to listen real close. I'm not going to say anything. We'll turn off the microphone. You won't hear any hiss or hum at all. That's proof that we've set the sound system properly. Now the nice thing about being a sound person is if you do find noise or hiss or hum in your sound system, you can track it down pretty easily. The nice thing about these mixers is all the connectors are right there. We can start unplugging one at a time so you can hear the noise go away. When you hear the noise go away, that's the thing you need to fix. It's that simple. Most sound systems aren't broken. It's something that's connected to them. A bad microphone, um, maybe, a, maybe a wireless that's not so good. Maybe a bad cable on a keyboard. These are the kind of things that you need to look for as a sound guy, you're trying to keep up with that stuff. The reason that I uh, want, want to tell you a couple of things also about what the proper way to do things are on stage. If you're lucky enough to have your sound mixer close to your keyboards and the other things that have these, uh, these guitar plugs on them, and use those little cables. If you're lucky enough to have this really close, go ahead and use these guitar cables. But if you want to guarantee that you're not going to have noise problems with those lines coming away from your keyboards, use VI boxes. VI meaning direct insertion. You plug in the quarter inch plug in one side, see it here? And then the other side has the microphone cable. So then you get that balance cable running as far as you need to, or all the way back to the mixer.